have to really uh, learn quite a bit uh, about it to be a very, very successful CEO. Uh, so putting a few years in terms of learning, the operation working uh, in a, an automotive business gives you leverage to be a really uh, successful CEO. Uh, but yes, it is possible to be a CEO. I am a classic example of having risen from uh, a sales representative 20 years ago to CEO of a company like General Motors. Uh, a bit of hard work, a bit of also the environment that I found myself into that supports growth, that identifies leadership, nurtures leadership, trains leadership potential, and giving uh, someone an opportunity to be a leader. So that has been also a great plus for me. But all I did was in whatever assignment that I was given, I did my very best. So my advice to young people aspiring to be CEO, uh, it, it, it is a rewarding job because you don't only do a particular uh, single job, you run an entire uh, operation. There is a responsibility that comes with it. Uh, there is sacrifice also that comes with it, but it is very, very rewarding if uh, one succeeds. You do a very commendable job at GM, and how do you balance your work and your life? I have come to learn that uh, you don't balance, because then there will always be competition, one against the other. So with experience, I have learned to integrate the two. So they are one and the same, and uh, I make sure that important events, important occasions in my personal life are part and parcel of my work life. Yes. I'm just curious to know what makes you tick and also how did you end up in this automobile industry? Of course, knowing not so many women have this fascination for cars. How I ended up in the automobile industry, it was not by choice. Uh, I just applied for a job, but all I did was I specified which type of organization I would be interested to work in, and it was not very specific in terms of automotive, but it was more specific in terms, must be a multinational organization, must be an, an organization with uh, opportunity for me to rise, opportunity for me to work in different areas. And when the hiring consultant called me and told me, I have found a place where I think it meets your expectation and it is in an auto automotive company, I said, well, let's give it a try. So I went through the interview, I got the job, and the rest was history. Are there some CEOs that you personally look up to and um, who are they? Each and every CEO I meet, myself, there is always something to learn from somebody. So I look at w what is it that I can take, whether it is a lesson around a challenge that he faced and how he overcame the challenge, or a breakthrough innovation that I can tap into. Uh, and a lot of the CEOs uh, I have met or interacted with have been outstanding. But uh, two CEOs stand out for me, uh, all of them stand out for me, but two are really great uh, people because they do something that I don't do on a daily basis, and they are very, very admirable. Uh, and one of them is Abbas Goulet of the Kenya Red Cross because of the humanitarian work that they put into their, into their business is, is really outstanding. Uh, the entrepreneurial spirit around what he has been able to achieve to me is, uh, is, is ad admirable. Another one is Eric Kimani of Palm House Foundation. I aspire and respect again because he is also so much involved in uh, supporting the, the youth in terms of education uh, through his foundation and that is, is really something that I admire and I aspire to do when I grow older but I'm doing it right now today but do more of well many thanks Rita
just to share your time with us and giving us this inspirational story of how you started and where you want to see the company. Many thanks. Thank you.